<clears throat> I'm Paul uh, Fisher, uh, member of the LACOC Art Group and currently chairman. Uh, this is going to be another demonstration that I did at LACOC uh, last year. Um, I sometimes find that I don't know what to paint. Um, I can't settle down to um, picking a subject. And I also find sometimes that my, um, my paintings get a bit tight. And so it's sometimes um, a good idea, I find, to do an exercise which helps to loosen you up. Um, several years ago, <clears throat> I came across um, something called Bob's Blobs. Uh, Bob, I think, is Robert Wade, who is a very good artist from Australia, uh, has several good uh, DVDs. And he showed a way of sort of doing crowds of people, uh, which he called uh, blobs. Um, it was shown to me also by Charles Slugger, the Australian artist. Um, and it's quite an effective way of just loosening yourself up, getting into using lots of juicy watercolour. Um, and doing it in such a way that you don't do any pencil drawing whatsoever. That's, that's the important point. And you can do it very, very quickly. So it's very good, so it's very good as a, um, a warm-up exercise. So, uh, the way we do that, is to uh, get these blobs going, is simply to freshen up and, and mix up some nice juicy colour. So I'm going to do a whole load, a, re a, a line, if you like, of people, um, and I'm going to use any colour I want. I'm going to use a, uh, start off with a nice um, cad red here, yeah, just shove that on very, very loosely, put some more just here perhaps. Change colour, go for a, a nice ultramarine blue. Let that really mingle. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Put some more over here. It's got a bit mauve here and there. That's great. That's fine. Um, let's go for a nice um, go for a bit of yellow. That's a bit dirty, so it's going to go green. There we go. There's more colour in there. Uh, go for a purple. And uh, oh, let's, let's go for a, a proper green, a sap green or something like that. Put that in here, put that in there. Nice and loose. Just playing with the colour. So cobalt blue perhaps, just to finish off this, this end. Okay, so that's... Oh, I think I'll just put a little bit of turquoise in there as well. Right? This uh, cobalt turquoise, quite nice. Yeah, that's great. Fine, okay. Let them mingle, and now I'm going to put in a few legs. And for that, I'm going to go for a mixture of a bit of burnt umber and a little bit of ultramarine blue, just to darken the burnt umber up, get a nice dark colour. And then, starting from the the, the wet co colours, the wet torso, just flick in a few legs. Oops, a bit thick there, perhaps doesn't matter. Change the brush and go for something slightly thinner. Doesn't matter too much. Oop, <laughs> probably too thin there. Don't you don't have to do pairs of legs, you just put in straight vertical lines. There you go, let the colours mingle. Maybe change colour just slightly there. Yeah, go on. A bit of purple. Back into there we go. Alright. Just let those go up a little bit. Good. And now I'm going to put on a few heads. I'll use burnt umber for this. And put one in there. Heads aren't as big as you think on bodies. There's there's two people look having a conversation head to head. There's somebody there, a person there. Um, let's just change the colour, make it a little bit fairer. Yeah, that's better. I'll put a fairer colour in there. There we go. Go back to the burnt umber again. The thing is not to be too finicky, not to try and get them looking too right. Yeah. And there is a colourful crowd of people in the distance. I'm going to um, just finish that off a little bit at the moment and put in Some shadows on the ground, make it up a little bit. There we go. So the lights come from the right hand side. Yeah. 
And look at the lovely way in which that colour there has fused. Absolutely wonderful. Um, you don't have to be accurate, you don't have to be um, too careful. You just go straight in with the colour and straight away you end up with this lovely um, group of people. Now, <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is put another person in walking towards them. So I'm going to start with the head. I'll work over here. There we go. Long hair lady. Head's bigger than the others. A bit more um, detail there. And then we'll put in um, shoulders. This arm coming in. Let the colours mingle. Don't um, don't wait for anything to dry. Get straight in there. Give her some trousers and she's walking forward so good now I want to give her a little bit of because because she's closer to us give her oops it's not a very good color um, try and get some clean color there a bit of uh, yellow ochre and a bit of just a little touch of red just a Put in her face, hands, just make it slightly thicker. So there she is. That's her walking towards the uh, the crowd. And what I want to point out is that because she's closer to the eye, this is level ground. The top of the heads, as we'll assume they're all adults, is in one straight line. So even the bigger person, that top of the head there is in one line. What I've done is extended her body down, which brings her closer to the eye, and that's quite important. Um, so I'm going to put in somebody else beside her. Um, what should we do? Oh, we should go for a bit of um, yellow ochre. Let the colours mingle. So here's another person, and you don't have to do you don't do individual um, separated people. You just do. People that mingle together. Put the head in. Uh, get a little bit of flesh on that face. Put a hand in there. Hand in there. That's great. That's fine. And we'll have. This one carrying a bag, so let's go for a yellow bag. So a bit of brush. Yeah, good. Okay. And what we can have too is a. Um, now this is sometimes goes wrong. Uh, we'll put in. A little little dog. A bit wet there, unfortunately. Try and and that's all right. I have no idea what sort of type of dog this is. Doesn't matter. Give it a little tail. Draw some dark underneath. Now the main thing to, to look at here is the fact that I'm doing absolutely no pencil drawing at all. I'm doing this as fast as I can. Uh, oops, tail. And then we'll make up a nice little dark here and just suggest coming from that person. Oops. A lead. Uh, we need to give these three, the two people and the dog, um, some shadow. There we go, plant some in the ground, a little bit for the dog, not too much. Good, that's fine, good. 
Okay, so we're gradually adding um, people to our our picture. No drawing, just playing with colour and using shapes which you observe from real life. Now, I'm going to put in... These, these people are all actually walking away from us. I'll put some people in perhaps later on which are walking towards us. Um, I'm going to put somebody over here uh, more or less in line with the others. I'm using co um, cobalt blue here. And it's just to illustrate that you can indicate very, very simply people's age or whatever. There's a go. Bit thick, but there's his walking stick. And because he's elderly and um, he's slightly hunched over, from the back his head will be, it won't be as prominent as these, it will be something like that, nothing more than that. Okay, give him a bit of a shadow as well. Oops, too much, doesn't matter. Okay, great. Give him a bit of a hunch there, so I'll just take that out. Good, okay. Now, we can carry on. Um, let's have a child. Now, obviously not being an adult, the head won't be as high as the others, but we're going to have on, on the same level, so we'll start off down here. Oops. A bit wet. Um, let's go for a... Yeah, that's okay. Love the way that the watercolors work together, flow together. Really good. Um, slightly purpley. Face, and facing the other way. Facing from away from these other people. There you go. And um, it looks like a little girl. And I'll do... That's her far, her left arm sticking up. Her head it looks strange because she is going to be holding on to a bunch of balloons. Nice, colourful balloons. Yellow one, green one down here. Let the colours flow together. Do a nice blue one or bluey green if you like. Do a nice mauve one. Just playing with colour, just letting them all... There, that's fine, that's okay. Oops. Good. And then we want a bit of string. Here's the burnt on with a little bit of ultramarine blue again. Just suggest... Not very good, doesn't matter. Anyway, those are the balloons. Just tie her in with the others with... Um, Extended shadow line. And there you are, you've got a story going. You've got a whole bunch of people. What you can do is put um, some people, uh, sorry, some, some uh, activities going on around them. So let's say that they're at a market. Um, so we'll just put a bit of a market stall over here. Cobalt blue. Again, just playing with colour, no, no drawing whatsoever. Um, so we want the Stall itself with its what's going on. Let's make it a, a fruit stall. So 
Take my small brush and put some colourful oranges. Green apples. Some red ones and so on too. And then we'll have a stall holder behind. Now he's in shadow, so put him there. And I'm so I'm using less colourful colours if you like. And doing his 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 um him in virtually the same colour there he is as his legs coming through extend the shadow area again and there we are we're sort of telling a story okay um I'm just going to clean clean this guy up over here he's He's run away a little bit. I suppose I could change that into a parrot. Seems he's got a, a galley leg. Take that out. Not very, not very successfully. Change that by increasing the tone a bit on his. That's better. That, doesn't, that mistake then doesn't show up quite so badly. <laughs> right, anyway. So there we go, 5, 10, 15 minutes, um, nice little scene, no drawing, straight in, loosen yourself up and it's a good warm up exercise uh, when you're going to do um, some other painting of some sort. Um, colours are entirely up to you, uh, it's better to do it on a bit of stretched paper but it doesn't really matter too much. Anyway, I've enjoyed doing that, I hope you've enjoyed watching me and I hope you give it a go. Um, so uh, thanks for watching again and... Good painting.